Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Denver Broncos versus Oakland Raiders Week 12 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between different data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And by the way, this episode is dedicated to the one, the only Chase Cameron. So I just wanted to throw that out there. This is for his mother and all of his ex-girlfriends. So getting into this game. So when we look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, uh, basic comparison data deals with how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing. And when you look at all this data combined, it honestly is really close. It's a very close game between both of these teams based on data. But let's get into some, some areas where the Raiders are favored because the Raiders are favored slightly. So we'll get into some reasons as to why they're slightly favored and also get into some reasons why the Broncos have their own kind of strengths in this game, which should be obvious strengths. Uh, but when you get to the offense, the Raiders have the better offense. I mean, the Raiders have better turnover ratio. They don't turn the football over as much. They have the better sack percentage, so they don't allow as many sacks which has been one of the major issues with the Broncos this year. And they also have better offensive score percentage, which is basically the ability to score on every single drive. You know, they, they score on every drive on a more consistent basis than uh, the Broncos have this year. Uh, so offensively, it's the Raiders. Defensively, though, it's the Broncos. The Broncos have the better defensive offensive score percentage. Uh, the Broncos have the better sack percentage. And the Broncos also have the better interception percentage. I will say that the Broncos defense has been a bit of a disappointment. I think some of that has to do with the offense being as poor as it is and kind of lacking motivation and, and those sort of things. But I would say that the defense overall for the Broncos is better than the Raiders, which does give them a fighting chance in this game, potentially. Uh, then when you get to special teams data, so looking at punt return yardage, the Broncos are favored here. Kick return yardage, the Raiders are favored here. Uh, defensive punt return yardage, defensive kick return yardage, field goal percentage favors the Raiders, extra point percentage favors the Broncos, and punting average favors the Raiders. Uh, I, I, I don't know how often I usually say this, but Marquette King is super underrated. Yeah, he's a little crazy, and he probably talks too much for most punters, but he's pretty darn good. Uh, pretty good when it comes to him. So I uh, just wanted to throw him out there as well as he's consistently been one of the better punters, if not the best punter in the NFL when it comes to just punting average, which is a very underrated thing to say the least. But the overall data does favor the Raiders. I think the offensive data will kind of push things a little bit forward, but now let's take a step back and kind of look at micro matchups. So Looking at down and distance data, situational football essentially, uh, when you look at the completion percentage data for the Broncos offense versus Raiders defense, the Broncos have the favor here. First, second, and third down. So, and of course this is Paxton Lynch, his first game he's going to be starting is going to be against the Raiders. Um, so I think that this definitely is a good team to play against. If you're a rookie quarterback, or not even a rookie, if you're just a very young inexperienced quarterback then the Raiders defense is actually a pretty good defense to play against so from that perspective I think this is kind of a good sign that the Broncos might have some success potentially uh, and then of course when you get to the Raiders offense versus Broncos defense the Raiders are favored on second and third down but very slightly I would say this is actually a little bit more even uh, evenly matched when you look at just the overall kind of dynamics of this so pretty evenly matched for the Raiders and the Broncos when it comes to completion percentage then when you get to first down conversion rate with the run uh, in terms of various situations, and in this area, I would actually give this to the Raiders defense. Uh, the Raiders have been 
This is the only area of the Raiders that actually works on defense. They have a fairly good run-stopping ability on first and third down. So this is where the Raiders' defense actually works. But that, it, but it is sort of kind of a meh kind of thing because having the best rushing defense doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win a lot of football games based on data. In fact, it's less correlative than other sort of things like passing D. So... Um, but I will give the Raiders props that they have been at least consistent when it comes to their rushing defense on first and third down throughout this entire year. Then, of course, when we get to the Raiders offense versus Broncos defense when it comes to rushing downs, and the Broncos are favored here on first, second, and third down. The Broncos continue to be a fairly solid rushing defense, and I think this kind of speaks to a lot of those sort of things. Then, of course, when we get to passing downs, this is the Broncos passing offense versus Raiders passing defense. And in this area, the Broncos are favored on first and third down. So I think the Broncos will have success in this game. Now, a lot of this stuff is based on other quarterbacks, guys like Trevor Simeon, uh, Brock Osweiler. But I do think that Paxton Lynch should have success against this Raiders D, especially since the Raiders have the worst third down defense against the pass in the NFL this week. Uh, and, and the Raiders have been going from having the worst to the third to second worst this entire season. So this is definitely a good game for a young quarterback to play and get some confidence. Then, of course, we get to the Raiders offense versus Broncos defense. And in this area, actually, we say it's pretty even. Just as I showed you with the completion percentage data, uh, the Raiders offense versus Broncos defense, pretty even between both these teams in, in terms of this regard. The Raiders might have a little bit more sec success on first down situations, but second and third down is pretty even between the two teams. Then we get to sack rate, Broncos offense versus Raiders defense, and the Broncos are actually favored here. The Raiders, despite having Khalil Mack and investing a ton of picks into pass rushers and Bruce Irvin and all these other guys, have not been that successful at sacking the quarterback this year. Uh, so this is definitely an area where I think there's a lot of uh, issues to consider. Uh, so even though the Broncos have not been that great in terms of preventing sacks, I think this definitely is a week where they're where they might have a little bit easier time of keeping the quarterback clean. Then of course we get to the sack rate for the Raiders offense and Broncos defense. In this particular area, the Broncos are favored on first and third down. The majority of the sacks that the Raiders give up come on third down, and that's also where the majority of the sacks that the Broncos generate come on third down. So that's going to be one of the key sort of mini matchups to kind of keep track of in this game because getting a sack on third down could be a big momentum-changing kind of play. Then, of course, we get to interception ratio of the Broncos' offense versus Raiders' defense. The Raiders, 10 games into the season, have zero interceptions on defense. That is insanity. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know why, but that's... Uh, but yeah... So I, I don't, if, if Paxton Lynch throws a pick in this game, I, I don't know what to tell you because this is just kind of silly at this point. And then finally, we get to the Raiders offense versus Broncos defense where the Broncos are favored on second and third down. And uh, obviously, I think the Broncos might get a pick here and there, especially in second down and third down situations. So overall, my general kind of feelings on this game, uh, I think it's a Raiders victory. It's, it's. It's at home, in the black hole. Uh, I think there's a different there's a different kind of mindset perspective when it when it's these types of games. Uh, but yeah, overall, I just feel like it's going to be a Raiders victory. But this is going to be a good game to see what Paxton Lynch brings to the table. As you know, I've done a lot of data in the past. You can just look up Denver Broncos quarterback analytics, and to, if you Google that onto YouTube, uh, I've done a video on them in the past and. I don't like the quarterback situation. I don't like Trevor Simeon. I don't like Brock Osweiler. I don't like Paxton Lynch. I don't like Chad Kelly. I think you really need to go out and find a quarterback in this draft. Uh, so don't trust, don't have the wait and see approach. Be proactive. That's what I would do. Be very proactive in this off season uh, if you're the Broncos because you have a lot of really good defensive talent. You have some offensive talent that is pretty decent as well. And you don't want to waste that on a quarterback that is just kind of meh for three to four years, and then you have to rebuild everything all over again. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. 
You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.